Please give it up for Josh Friedman, the Kelly P. And Those are my questions. They, they went over well. Yeah. Um, 
Thomas, in the first episode, yes. do you know who Samson is and who is Delilah? What? You mean in real life? What no. are you, what is that? <laughs> it's it's symbolism. Symbolism. Yeah. symbolism. Which one? Which character is that? Which character is that? You didn't know you'd be quiz. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's tricky. Because it's tricky. Yeah. 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 there's hair being cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, who has really weird questions? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the questions from him at all. I'll make for a second. I don't know how the hell to answer that question. Okay. All right, well, let's move it to the audience. <laughs> questions? Yes. Uh, this is for Thomas. Uh, what was it like doing the scene when Lena's talking to you through the door? Um, you know, were you guys shooting that scene together? And yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> and what, what, do you learn from, what do you learn from Lena as an actor? Actually, um, I was not there for her side. Josh said you were. I said I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, oh, the well, reason was, James said you just, were then. Let me just say that the reason <laughs> was, was that uh, obviously in the shot I am topless and <laughs> they had to cover all my tattoos, which takes about an hour, and they had to remove the wig. And so I had to be doing that while they were shooting Lena's side. Mm -hmm. And so she was there um, for my side, but I didn't get to be there for her side. And actually, he back there in the blue, red one, for the for the scene. So yeah, too far back. Too far. Back. That blue. <laughs> that blue over there. So yeah, but it's a beautiful scene, and I think Lena did an astounding job, which yeah, is proof that she does not need me. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. Uh, how many episodes for this season? Thirteen so far. And if how many episodes will there be? I'm hoping that there's 22, right? We're guaranteed 13. And if everyone watches the show 10 million times each week, we'll have, we will. Then we'll have 22. Right here? Does it help us with DVR? It helps everything? when you DVR, yes. If you're not a Nielsen member, and I don't know if any of you are, the best thing that you can do for the show is to DVR the show because this is really the first year I think that people are really starting to pay attention to DVR numbers. And last year, we had almost 2 million uh, people who DVR at our show, which was behind Lost, the second highest DVR numbers of any one or drama. Yeah, thank you all. Uh, so those that matters. That really helps. So, but make sure you watch it within three days. No, nope. isn't it? Within three days. Otherwise, it wears off. And it within, three, within three days. It's good. Yes, I've got two questions for the producers. One is there's a Terminator movie coming out next year that's going to explore the mythology and also possibly contradict things that are going on in the show. What are you going to do to counteract that? The other question is, when Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles eventually comes to a close, are fans going to be stuck with the words series finale on the last episode? Uh, no, series, uh, seri um, season finale. Hmm. Which so many networks seem to be doing with shows on their final episode. Probably because when they make them, they don't know it's their final. I can't speak to the second question. I hope, I hope that when we end, we know that we're ending and we can actually deliver an ending for people. Uh, as to the first question, I mean, the movie is the movie and the show is the show, and the two have nothing to do with each other. Uh, I think people kind of get that, you know, there's an expression of the franchise that can go either way. And I think it's good for the us that they exist. It's good for them that we exist. And uh, I just saw Mick G last week. He was he came over to the office and showed me some footage and rocks. <laughs> we've always we've always said that you know the, the whole purpose for this show is to create an entirely new timeline, you know, and to not to try to do anything that's slavish to the movies. You know, how we ask how do how do we make the most interesting and the best show? And Josh came up with this idea to use time travel to create an entirely new timeline, an entirely new experience for Sarah Connor. So we're not we're not trying to mesh the two things in terms of uh, you know, the, the movie mythology. And Show. And like Josh was saying, they are unique expressions of the franchise. You are doing something with the cancer thing. <laughs> yeah, there are themes. There are themes that overlap. I mean, there are themes, you know, of, you know, and characters that overlap. But, but you know, when Sarah moved into the into 2008, we absolutely deviated from the movie mythology, which had Judgment Day happening in 2003. Thank you. Go ahead, Black Shoes. Uh, since we're talking about 